Hi guys, or <laughs> hi kiddos. It's been so long, I forgot my own intro. But hello guys, it's been so so long since I've uploaded a video, but I am back. I am so sorry, I have not uploaded in so long. You guys probably forgot you subscribed to me. But yes, it's Sarah and I am back with another video and as you can see from the title and the thumbnail I tried Joan Cook's skincare for like a week because my skin was like breaking out and if you guys don't know Joan Cook like we know now like he has flawless skin without makeup with makeup like He has nice skin. Okay, like I'm so jealous um, but that was not always the case like in the past he has opened up about how he Had bad acne and I remember there's like a lot of medicines back then that were like criticizing his skin And honestly, it was probably just because of puberty and like him going through a lot of stressful events at that young of a at that young Sorry, I can't speak that young of an age that's probably why it contributed to his breakouts. Now he has glown up. He was cute already before, but like he has glown up. Like good for him. Like there was a poll I read online that like actually voted him as like the best like Korean celebrity or something, or, like the or idol with the best skin. And I'm like, let's go, let's go. Revealed on like uh, a radio podcast, he actually used vinegar and water only to wash his face and that's how he cleared up his acne so i had to try it out because my skin was breaking out it's like been the worst it's ever been for like a long time like it went back to like my middle school breakout days so then i was like okay i i gotta i gotta try this and i've heard good stuff about apple cider vinegar before it's something to do with like ph might do some more research and do like a voiceover so haha uh -huh. take over future Sarah yes thank you past Sarah it is future Sarah here now um bring to you guys advanced knowledge so what I said in the video is kind of true it's basically true actually it is true that apple cider vinegar does balance out the pH of your skin but I will get into like the scientific knowledge since I hyped my future self up a lot. <laughs> um, so the skin naturally has an acidic pH and when your skin becomes more alkaline that's when problems start arising and you start breaking out. And the reason why people say to use apple cider vinegar is because apple cider vinegar itself has an acidic pH and after using it it's supposed to balance out your pH as I said before and that will make your skin acidic again and that should cure your acne and that's enough scientific talk I will just show you how it actually affected my skin and the process I went through while using apple cider vinegar myself yeah please enjoy all right so I'm gonna wash my face first Cute. Need a small container, a spoon, apple cider vinegar, and water. So I took one spoonful of apple cider vinegar and two spoons full of water. So basically you want a one to two ratio and I mix it all together. And it should look like, it's like stuff in here. You see that stuff? I don't know what's in it. This is clean, I swear. I think I might actually use cotton swabs. I'm so sorry. You'll have to see my skin. It's said to like soak it. Maybe I should like press on it. I'll press on it. Okay, I'm gonna press this on my nose more because this is the one i really want off it's like literally in the center of my face so i will be back in 10 minutes okay next step i think is just to wash it off with warm water and i'll probably do my normal routine and i'm done all right 
So I'm gonna do the same thing this morning. And also, can I just say I was a dumbass and accidentally popped my nose pimple. So it might scar. Hopefully the apple cider vinegar will like help decrease the scarring. I end up using the apple cider vinegar from yesterday. It might be more effective than a Q-tip if I just use this paper towel. I'm just gonna use like a small piece and like dip it in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe a little too effective. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick it here. I'm gonna stick it here. I kind of do the same thing for the next day, two days or so, and it really is not that interesting to watch. Um, so I'm gonna speed through that. Halfway through the week though, I changed it up and developed a new tactic. I think I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna completely like soak each piece of paper towel inside and then like just place it on my problem areas for 10 minutes. So I do gotta say it was pretty genius. Um, I was able to do other stuff while soaking my face in vinegar. This thing is leaking a lot and I'm trying to do like actual homework. So droplets are like leaking onto my textbook. I really should have placed one on my chin. You know what, I'll do this tomorrow, but just like on my chin. Okay, so it seemed to have stayed on for 10 minutes. So I might just continue doing this. I know I just said I wanted to do this at night only, but I'm doing this in the morning again because my acne kind of flared up again. I really hope it's not because of the apple cider vinegar but whatever trust in jungkook i guess so i kind of continue doing the mask method for the next couple days until the last day where i was like i'm gonna change things up so today i decided to try something different um basically i made my own face mask well technically i i, I mixed it i used aztec secret Indian healing clay and I've been seeing this like everywhere on TikTok, so of course I had to get it. You can mix it with either water or apple cider vinegar and since challenge requires me to use apple cider vinegar, I used apple cider vinegar. I may have made a little too much, but I think if I close the lid on it and maybe add a little bit more apple cider vinegar it'll preserve this like mask, mud mask consistency. And like, it doesn't sting as much as when I just straight up put apple cider vinegar. I know it is an intense face mask. Like it will like shoo your skin. I think this is good. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, I am back after 20 minutes and I can barely like talk. My face feels like the Sahara Desert. I don't know if that's a good thing, but <laughs> let's just wash it off. Can't even smile. This is as big as it'll go. This mask took so freaking long to take off. Like I was using warm water, which is supposed to like speed up the process, but like it took me a solid like five minutes to just like completely wash off the face mask, which is insane. But I think it worked pretty well. Okay, so I have to say, I don't think this skin routine worked on my skin. I don't know if it's because I have more sensitive skin and it works for Jungkook, so it might work for you too. But for my skin and my personal experience, I don't think it worked that well. It like it really had like a burning sensation. And if you do it, I wouldn't recommend doing it every single day because it seems kind of harmful to the skin. But then again, what do I know? It worked for Jungkook, might work for you. Give it a try. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you know, go find or I'll subscribe and i'll find <laughs> actually don't don't trust me on your skincare but like yeah there will definitely be a skincare out there that's good for you 
suitable for your skin type this just does not help me as much i think a lot of the fading if my acne scars did fade was just naturally through like time if you enjoy <laughs> if you enjoy this content please think about liking and subscribing and comment down below if you plan to try this if it works on your skin yep anyways see you guys next time